crisp, crunchy meringue cookies with the essence of peppermint taste as festive as they look, and they make a great holiday gift or an addition to any Christmas cookie platter. If you've got confectioner sugar, two egg whites, pure peppermint extract, and peppermint hard candies, you've got everything you need to make peppermint meringue kisses. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. To get the meringues nice and crisp and dry, you're going to want to bake them at a low temperature for a very long time. So we'll start by heating the oven to 175 degrees. You don't want to go any higher than that because that will brown the meringues and we want to end up with beautiful, pale, crisp meringues. Next, you want to line a large cookie sheet with parchment paper. Next up, we're going to sift the confectioner's sugar. We want to make sure that we get all of the lumps out of this sugar so it incorporates into our beaten whites. In fact, I'm going to sift it twice. There we go. And now I'm going to divide this one cup of confectioner's sugar in half. That looks about right. So I have two egg whites from large eggs in a medium-sized bowl, and I'm going to use my electric handheld mixer I'm going to start on medium speed and I'm going to beat them until they're foamy. Now that the egg whites are nice and foamy, I'm going to increase the speed to high and I'm going to beat them until soft peaks form when the beaters are lifted. So you see how those peaks are curled over on their sides? That's just what you're looking for, for soft peaks. And now I'm going to slowly add one pile of the confectioner's sugar to the egg whites while they're beating. Beat until the egg whites form firm, glossy peaks that stand up straight when you lift the beater. Add 1 8 of a teaspoon of pure peppermint extract, and then beat briefly until it's incorporated. And now I'm going to sift the remaining confectioner's sugar over the beaten egg whites. And using a rubber spatula, I'm going to gently fold until the two are incorporated. This looks just right. Now it's time to pipe our meringues. I'm gonna use a pastry bag fitted with a large star tip. I'm gonna begin by twisting and then pushing some of the pastry bag into the star tip. That'll keep the meringue from just flowing out once it's been filled. And then I'm going to turn over the top part to form a cuff that I'm gonna position over a two cup measuring glass making a nice, large opening. And using the rubber spatula, I'm just going to spoon in my meringue. Untwist, and then gently, but firmly, push the meringue batter down. Once you're almost to the bottom, you're gonna gather the top up, turn it upside down, and then twist until the meringue just peeks through to the end. Now you're ready to pipe. Okay, so I'm going to grab the cookie sheet and then holding the pastry bag firmly around the top twist and using my opposite hand as a guide, not squeezing with my opposite hand, I'm going to position it straight over the cookie sheet and gently squeeze, lifting just like that. This recipe will give you 24 kisses. And then about halfway through piping, you're going to want to stop and twist the top so the bag remains taut. You can arrange the meringues close together since they're not going to spread during baking. And if you don't have a pastry bag, you can use a small two tablespoon cookie scoop to make small mounds instead of the kisses. Sprinkle over one third cup finely chopped peppermint candies. You want to give them a nice even coating. All right, these guys are ready for the oven. Bake the kisses at 175 degrees for three hours until they're dry, crisp, and pale. So it's been three hours. Let's check on the kisses. Yep, as you can see, they're still nice and pale, no browning at all, and they're not tacky. So I'm going to close the oven door back up Turn the oven off 
and let them sit there in the oven for another hour. So when the kisses are completely cool, they're ready to serve. They should be dry, crisp, mm, and melt in your mouth, leaving behind that essence of peppermint.